Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dill here and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you guys three of my favorite go-to easy no fuss flowering plants that are low maintenance and hardy for the full sun garden. Um, that means that they are going to need at least six to eight hours of full sunlight each day for, for them to look their best. So if that's something that interests you, stay tuned. So this year, with all the craziness that's happening all around us, I decided that I would only plant things um, that would be simple, but would also look beautiful on their own or mixed in with other plants in, in an arrangement. Um, and definitely the plants that I'm highlighting uh, today uh, definitely checks all those boxes. Um, but the best part about these plants is that you don't need to, uh, they don't need pinching or pruning for them to flower all season long and to me that is magic so the very first plant that i wanted to highlight is called a calibracoa calibracoa or calibracoa 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 uh, probably butchering that name i wish they would just name these plants like a lot easier names um but i will put that down on the screen somewhere uh it's hardy from zones 9 through 11 and i love this plant because i love the flowers that it produces um, i think they are just phenomenal um, and it's also called a million bells for you know as you can see why it produces basically a million flowers and it's such an easy plant to take care of um, it likes well draining rich soil and and it will benefit from weekly fertilizing so I usually start off all my plantings with uh, slow release fertilizers and then I water them once a week with a water soluble fertilizer. So if you keep up with that regimen, um, they, it will flower for you all season long. And, and also the flowers comes in many different um, uh, colors. I think it comes in red, purple, blue, um, basically all the colors in the rainbow except for green but it does have green leaves so basically technically it does have all the flowers in the rainbow so um, but yeah calibracoa is definitely one of those plants that you if you are, haven't already you know planted it in your garden i definitely definitely recommend it so the second plant i wanted to highlight today just happens to be in the same container as the calibracoa um, and that is the sweet, the dainty, the popular sweet alyssum. And I love this plant um, because they are just so versatile and the flowers are just so dainty and cute. Uh, they come in pink, white, and purple, and I believe even yellow. Although I've only seen the white and the purple version here in our local nurseries here in California. And they are a member of the mustard family and the flowers have these sweet fragrance to them, hence, you know, their name. The only thing that I did notice that they love water. So uh, definitely keep the, keep its soil moist, but not too wet. Um, and it will let you know when it needs watering because the flowers and the plant itself will just start to droop and would looks like it's dying. Um, but once it gets watery, it usually perks right back up, but I wouldn't let it dry out too, uh, for too long because it will kill the plant. So the third, but certainly not the least plant that I wanted to highlight today is this cute, the beautiful, the amazing Bacopa. Um, so this is a, a plant that is hardy from zones nine through 11. And I love this plant. And I know I, I've said that, well, that's why I'm highlighting them. I do love this plant because every time I see it and I see the flowers, it makes me think of fairies and gnomes. <laughs> um, you could tell I have a very active imagination. Uh, I love how small and dainty the flowers and the leaves are on this plant. And I think it would be per perfect for fairy, a fairy garden. And I do plan on using this um, in a fairy garden someday, uh, in a full sun fairy garden. So, uh, but definitely if once I do that, I will definitely let you guys uh, know. And they do come in different shades of white, pink, blue and even red. So here I have it planted in uh, an Ikea crate that they sell for $10. And I just stained it with wood stain to make it look vintage. I um, covered it, I covered it inside with burlap to keep the soil in, put soil in it and voila, you have a planter. 
the care for this plant is actually pretty easy. Um, just make sure you keep the soil pretty moist. Again, not soggy. Um, and don't let the soil dry out because the flowers will fall off. Um, and, but, you know, it will recover once, you know, you get it watered as long as you don't let it dry out for too long because it will kill the plant. It can use a little bit of protection during the hot summer um, afternoons. So if you just put it in somewhere where it gets a little bit of shade during the afternoon, it will definitely, definitely um, do well for you. And also what I've noticed about this plant is that um, the flowers on it does open and close. So it will open up as soon as the um, morning sun hits it and then it closes um, during at night. So it's around almost six o'clock here and you could see that it's actually starting to close up for the night. So, and I just think that's just so cute. All right guys, so it's getting pretty late here. So I think I'm gonna end the video right here, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.